Hi and welcome to Tableau 101. <clears throat> Today I want to show you a bit about um, containers, horizontal and vertical containers um, in that regard. Um, so hopefully it's visible to you guys that um, <clears throat> I've marked, I've, I've put borders on the containers uh, to kind of like illustrate the layout of this dashboard. Um, and what you can do is you can, for example, click into this title and then right click on um, on this to select the vertical container. So you can see in which layout this container is. So you can see this is one part of a container, uh, which also includes the two parameters. Um, when we click on the parameters and select the horizontal container, you can see that they are inside this container, um, but are uh, laid out in, um, in a horizontal way, so you can you can drop in, uh, for example, uh, other parameters. Let's say if we have order by, uh, it, it'll drop them in that way. So if we also add sort by, you can see what I mean. <clears throat> the other thing you can do is um, you can have um, your uh, horizontal and vertical containers distributes contents uh, evenly. Um, so by default, it should do that anyway, but you can also fix this. Um, uh, you can drag and drop, for example, if you want the first bit to be um, fixed, then all the others line up and spread out uh, in an equal amount of way. If you don't want that anymore, you can remove the width uh, and it'll adjust uh, a appropriately back to the normal view. So for example, here we have a, a fixed one. So again, we do the right click uh, on any of the measures, select the container, which is the first container that it's in. Uh, then you can see I have one blank page in here. Um, that should probably be uh, better here. Oh. I think that was the maximum that can go so that the sales um, is centered. So we select the container and we select it again so that you can see this all, all of this here is inside the bigger container. Um, and here we have a category and region which are in its own container uh, in order to create the sizing for um, the labels uh, and then the labels for the other fields are in their own container here. Um, and I hope uh, this makes more sense here. So <clears throat> what I've done here is if we um, drag out the monthly uh, category performance and drag it back in, you, you, you can see that this will always line up to the side, to the side, to the side, and so on, because this is a, a horizontal container. So now below the horizontal container is if we click on vertical container. So this is a vertical container. So you can drag a horizontal container into a vertical container. Um, and just to show you this, so this is a this is a vertical container. And I can, for example, create a container which is a container. So this, this is a container with containers as the outer loop, and I can drag this in here and just pop it below here. So you can, you can kind of create your, um, your layout that you want, pop it into a container, and then use that container to drag it into another container in order to create your, um, your final um, view. Um, I know containers are not that easy to grasp and it's probably one of the last things you would do, but it's so important for dashboard design. I can only recommend it um, and I hope this kind of clear, uh, clears up um, the issues that people are having with containers. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe.